many of you believe is helping. I had to rewind to see if I heard this right. Protecting you from scams and rip-offs. CBS Local 2 stands for you. Could carbs cause lung cancer? Carbs have been linked to our national epidemics of obesity, diabetes, and heart. But groundbreaking new research now suggests certain carbs could increase lung cancer risk, especially in people who have never smoked. Carbs that have a high glycemic index, so-called refined or white carbs, raise the risk for lung cancer by a staggering 49%. Joining me is one of the leaders in functional medicine and the author of Eat Fat, Get Thin, Dr. Mark Hyman. Eat fat, get thin. Eat fat, get thin. Carbohydrates. That, that, that asshole, well, Mark carbohydrates. Hyman. So, Mark, what are high glycemic index foods? So, remember, high glycemic index foods are foods that raise your blood sugar and then spike insulin. It's all the stuff we know. It's the starchy, sugary stuff. So it's rice and potatoes and flour and sugar. And flour, in fact, is worse than table sugar hmm. for your blood sugar. And last but not least, sugar-sweetened beverages and soda. Let's show everyone, if, I, if you don't mind, what, what does this high glycemic mean? So sugar and soda is an example, but I'm gonna pick a pretty confusing one for a lot of people, which is not so confusing. Fruit. Fruit's good for you, right? You all think anyway. I do too, but not carbs might actually promote cancer. I'm really stunned. The context in which they discussed this story was really bad. It's like something you'd say on YouTube or something. Pretty confusing one for a lot of people. The way they are blowing over the, the complex issues, they're speaking in simplistic terms, using absolutes when those are not absolutes pretty confusing one for a lot of people. Those are not absolutes. For instance, there's potatoes. There's just like two lines on potatoes. Foods that raise your blood sugar and then spike insulin. It's all the stuff we know. Potatoes. The cousins of insulin go out there and they begin to attract these cancer cells. What that does is it, it just gives people the idea that potatoes are bad. When the facts are, russet potatoes are high glycemic and all the other ones are medium and so there's something people could could benefit from knowing but they don't bother telling you that <laughs> keep in mind of course this is kind of circular logic and it's bias but we already know that Mark Hyman is a, a meat shill he lies about carbs to make fat look good Look at his face. <laughs> yeah, that's bias. But I just like to point that out that, we, that I already know. And I don't know that other guy, but <laughs> I would put money on it. I've seen this too many times. And in my stunned stupor, I was standing back, couldn't hear anymore. I was just looking at the screen in the wide shot of the three of them, dishing out all this bullshit in a really biased, unscientific way. And I, and I noticed, here we got three white middle-aged men in suits. It reminds me of, <laughs> of a philosophy back in the 60s. Mostly young people would say, never trust a guy in a suit. I'm gonna keep this video short, then I'll start working on other videos. Here's some ideas I've got. Now this was, I was just giving my first impressions here. I'll get into the science of how they were just glossing over certain issues without giving them the right information, which ends up just scaring people. Oh, that reminds me. Take a look at this tweet I found. Remember, a lot of people don't know anything about nutrition, so they don't realize just how stupid this is. Not only are people ignorant, but they're stupid, and they don't even know how to think. They'll come away just saying, just thinking, okay, okay, yeah. a lot of things cause cancer. Yeah, carbs cause cancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Air running through their heads. 
So I'm saying this is why this story exists. This, this is, is the matrix. matrix. We're in it right now. And I've got to make a whole video on what Dr. Oz said about bananas. So wait till you hear this. This. And what's so irritating, yet it drives me to make these videos, is that we have already debunked all this. My community has already debunked all this crap that they say. If he knew what I knew just from watching raw vegans and 80 10 10 just from that information if he knew all that he wouldn't be saying most of the crap he's saying we're watching dr oz dr oz should be watching us and this guy has a tv show it makes me wonder is our society and media so incompetent or is this all on purpose that these stupid idiots, like Dr. Phil, another person who people hate. So much disrespect. And he's been on TV like 10 years. <laughs> that's, maybe that's all orchestrated to be that way. So what Dr. Oz said about bananas, he, he just trumped Dr. I want to, I want to say Dr. Shill uh, Stork, yeah, from, from the doctors. That guy's awful. He's an obvious shill. And yeah, our community's been calling him out for a few months now. So people, people gotta be waking up to that, all this stuff. But these people remain on TV. So what Dr. Oz said about bananas was even worse than what Dr. Stork said. And I wanna talk about how their whole logic is faulty from the very beginning. And my community Living proof, we prove that it's flawed from the very beginning, and I'm gonna prove that in the next few videos. Living proof, that's real proof. Like, share, and subscribe to this video, and be here tomorrow for the next video. Kick some butt.